All right, it's Millspec Monkey, and we're here with Josh from Paladin 33 and Cloud Chaser. Uh, Rock, so what do you got for us today? So we have a lot of fun things to show you guys. Uh, we've been doing a lot of things with Poppies of War. That was kind of last year. We're still doing a lot of Poppies, completely sold out. Thanks to Tata Audi Gear for letting us get some of those fabrics. But uh, the, the most recent thing that we've done is uh, we've worked with Andrew Bewitterman to work on these tiger stripe patterns. So if you guys, um, to give you a little bit of history behind the tiger stripe, there was never an official pattern. Uh, it was very unofficial. It was mo modeled after the French lizard pattern and then adopted uh, by us and the South Vietnamese. And we believe that it was, you know, mills in China and Japan and maybe even in China that produced the fabrics that were used in the Vietnam War. So Andrew did a pretty deep dive on the pattern. He's done tiger strikes before. And these, as far as we can tell, are super, super accurate um, based on our history of the ADS or the advisor pattern. So here we call this the Saigon. It's kind of your, you know, kind of like your, your regular multicam. Will work really well in wooded areas as well as probably like, you know, high desert type of, uh, type of uh, use. And then we got a couple more patterns. Currently we got this, we call this Midnight. So we took the tiger stripe pattern and then we matched it with the multicam color spectrums. So this is really similar to the multicam black um, CMYK. And this is actually very similar to the multicam white CMYK. So these will work really well with existing multicam black or alpine uniforms or kit. Um, so right now we got three patterns. We got an arid, uh, we also have a tropic coming as well. Um, so we got five different tiger stripe patterns, three already in production. Uh, these are limited edition. We're giving this one away here today at uh, Oregon Rifle Works as, the, as a raffle package. Call it the Siberian. So white Siberian, uh, the jungle is Saigon, and the black is Midnight. Um, and then to kind of talk more about our kind of our bread and butter products, our, our best selling product here is our Outback Concealed Carry. And really, this year we went further, started with 500D Cordura, but we moved on to XPEX UX10. Uh, that pretty much allowed us to save 30% of weight uh, from 500D Cordura just by changing the fabric. Also, it's 100% waterproof material as well. It's, it's laminated. We don't use full um, AquaGuard zippers like our totes um, because we want you to have really fast um, quick zipper opening for your concealed carry pocket. So the rear has a concealed carry pocket, Velcro line, so if you want to mount a Velcro holster, you can. It's got a bottom loop here for your trigger guard type of holsters, full Dyneema or UX10 on the inside. The main pocket here, also Velcro lined on both sides. And then there's four tie down points for carabiners and for tethers for tools. Um, the XL actually fits uh, AR mags, 30 rounds. Uh, vertically, um, so this is the XL size and then this is the standard size. So really the difference is the, the standard is designed for your subcompact and compact pistols. So pretty much up to your Glock 43X and Glock 19, our XL will fit 2011's comp pistols uh, with red dot sights, you know, mag extensions. This is our best seller, super lightweight, dedicated to concealed carry. Nice. And then, is this a shoulder bag? Yep, so we can carry it uh, multiple ways, which I'll demonstrate. So most people pre prefer to carry it as a sling bag or a crossbody. It's got two points of adjustment. So if you want it really close to you, just take it to a tailor, snip that off, and then you can have kind of a one-sided bag. It's designed so it fits pretty much every size. So you can carry it as a crossbody. Like that. Or as a fanny pack. It's got compression straps on the sides here. So you can really tighten things down. Or it expands out. The main pocket, admin style, won't flop open. And the front has, the XL has three slots for, for pens, notebooks, and then two tether points again for your carabiners and, and tether tools. We have something called the Omega. This is the Omega. By allowing these removable 
side release buckles. You can go from a H style military chest rig to a sling bag, to a fanny pack. Also awesome to mount onto vehicles. Headrests, vehicle seats. Nice. So some you got the system <clears throat> in a some bunch Some people of are putting them on chest mounts, chest rigs. Yep, you can use it as a chest rig. We have a bunch of different sizes. This is the bigger size. We developed this one for motorcycle riders. So it's got squadron on the, on the bottom. So super abrasion resistant. And then again, designed for submachine guns or, or your fighting kit. So you can lay it out however you want. Super right. unassuming. We call this the Screaming Eagle um, colorway. White UX10 Dyneema. And that's VX21 red and, and Bahama blue. A couple more products to talk about are belt bags. I got really tired of seeing all the Lululemon belt bags out there. <laughs> They're made in fucking China and communist countries. Don't buy it. This is made in Bend, Oregon, 100% American materials. And it's $65 because I want you to have an option for an American made belt bag, cutting edge materials, awesome organization, 65 bucks. Just kind of going with the, the fun 80s colors. Yep, fun 80s colors. And then the most Gucci out of the belt bags is our, we call this the Astro belt bag. So kind of like the NASA spacesuit helmet. So that's kind of like the visor. You got some red and, red and blue right there. And this, so we have two brands. One's Paladin, that's the tactical brand. Cloud Chaser is more for the outdoors. But yeah, the inside, if you look at it, it's all UX10 and VX21 white combined together. The rear has a phone sleeve. So with this... So with this one, got your phone, put in the back pocket, and then you have your main pocket here. And this is actually big enough to fit a Glock 43X as well but it's just one pocket, unlike our concealed carry carry bags. Two final products to talk to you guys about are our tote bags. Nothing else like it. It's got a slip here for your luggage handle to go through. So on your ro rolling luggage, this will stand. Even when it's empty, it stands up. Opens up wide so you can easily get into things. These fit Nell jeans, wine bottles, whatever you guys want. And then there's two loops on each side for your carabiners and your tether points. Full YKK AquaGuard zippers. Check these out. Super, super water resistant. We start out with this. People love this bag. So we oversized it. So this is a loadout bag. We call it the loadout tote. 60 liters. Opens up super wide, and even when it's empty, it stands up straight. If you look at the bottom, it's squadron, so probably the toughest material or one of the toughest that Brookwood offers. And it weighs 2.5 pounds. You got two tether points, again, for your carabiners, full YKK AquaGuard zippers all the way throughout. And then outside pockets, also for documents, sunscreen, dog leash, whatever you want to get too fast. So we got this in white in the UX10, and then we have it in the VX21 here. So this is the black version. And literally legit, this has replaced all my loadout bags. And you can carry it over your shoulder or like that. You can take it on boats, you can put it on the back of your pickup. It's pretty much the width of a rear seat of a vehicle too, so that's my loadout when I go to, when I go do things. And that's the lineup. Sweet. Well, thanks for taking the time to show us the latest. Yep. You're welcome. If you like this video and want to support us, check out the Millspec Monkey Store. Although known for morale patches, we also specialize in a good selection of DIY hardware and tactical accessories.